And now for a reading from the Social Justice Warrior Bible with Pastor Gregory Post. Welcome in. I'm Gregory Post, head pastor at the Eternal Living Word Transdenominational Community Church and Coffee House in Nevado, California. And now for a reading from the SJW Bible. Today's reading will be from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 7, verses 2 through 10. And a centurion slave was sick and about to die. When he had heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders asking him to come save the life of his slave. When they came to Jesus, they earnestly implored him, saying, He is worthy for you to grant this to him, for he loves our nation, and it was he who built our synagogue. Now Jesus was triggered upon hearing this and said, None of the good things he has done matter because he is a slave owner, and we must never admit that anyone that ever owns slaves is capable of doing anything good. Furthermore, instead of asking me for help, you should have passed universal health care by now so that he could receive treatment for free. Then Jesus started on his way with them, and when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends, saying, Lord, do not trouble yourself further, for I am not worthy for you to come under my roof. For this reason I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you, but just say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I am also a man placed under authority, with soldiers under me, and I say to this one go, and he goes, and to another come, and he comes, and to my slave do this, and he does it. Now when Jesus heard this, he marveled at him, and turned and said to the crowd that was following him, I say to you, this man is engaged in systematic oppression. He is clearly engaging in wage slavery by controlling the means of production to exploit the labor of those around him. Then Jesus gathered up a mob and protested on the centurion's lawn all night long with torches and signs reading, Down with the Patriarchy, terrifying him and his family. We never really found out what happened to the centurion's slave. Wow. So inspiring. Thank you for listening to this reading of the SJW Bible. And remember, the only truth that matters is your truth.